Hello friends, welcome to Dhamma Education. If not yet subscribed, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So in this session, we are going to discuss our third question. So verify the given points are collinear or not. So what is meant by collinear? The points which are located on same line, which are positioned on, position on same line. So the points which are located on same line are called collinear points. So it should be on same line. So let's go into take collinear points. Let's draw one line and we're going to locate that points. The given points are located on that line based on X coordinates and we're going to check one condition. So let's go into draw one line. Let's take this is one point and this is another point and this is another point. So what are the coordinates based on that? So x coordinate, let's go into take minus 2 comma minus 1. They are collinear or not? We don't know. Let assume. Let assume that. So we are assuming. So don't get confused. These two points are not, these three points are not collinear anyway. But don't, don't get confused here. These are not collinear, but we are assuming that. Let's maybe that. Next 1 comma 5 and 2 comma 3. Let's go into take these positions or a b c so what is the condition for collinear so what is the condition a b plus b c will be equal to a c then you can say so the distance between the points the distance between the a b and b c if you add a b and b c together then if you get a c value as the distance if the same value if you are get then we can say a b c are the collinear points so a b c what is the distance and b and c what is the distance if you add all those distances from a to c also we need to get the same distance value so that is the case here so let's going to take the distance between the points let's going to take it here so a b first one condition a b distance a b distance will be equal to let's go into take a b points are what minus 2 comma minus 1 and 1 comma 5 so square root of let's go into take here x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so here x2 is what so x1 is this one x2 is this one 1 minus of minus 2 whole square plus y2 is what 5 minus of minus 1 whole square so this is the square root so 1 minus of minus 2 will become 1 plus 2 whole square plus 5 plus 1 whole square and square root so 1 plus 2 is 3 square plus 1 plus 5 plus 1 will become 6 square so what is this 3 square is 9 plus 636 and we will get it as 45 square root of 45 so we can write 5 as the product of any one perfect square number remaining one so 9 5 is a 9 square root of 9 into 5 square root of 5 so what formula we are using here is so since square root of a b will be equal to square root of a into square root of b so this is the value square root of 9 will become 3 root 5 centimeters so this is the value of AB. So AB will be equal to the distance between A and B will be 3 to 5. 3 root 5 is the distance of AB. Let's go into take second one. Second combination is BC. So BC distance will be equal to what are the points BC distance? What are the points of B and C? B will be equal to 1 comma 5 and C 2 comma 3. So same formula, we can take here, don't get confused, we can take this one as x2, y2 and x3, y3. So x2, y2, don't get confused here, x3, y3. So here x1, y1. So this is x1, y1, x2, y2, this one x3, y3. Don't get confused, we are taking now. So what is the formula? Square root of x3 minus x2 whole square plus y3 minus y2 whole square 
so x3 is what x3 is nothing but 2 minus of x2 is nothing but 1 whole square plus y3 is 3 minus y2 is 5 whole square so 2 minus 1 is nothing but 1 square plus 3 minus 5 is minus 2 whole square and square root so square root of 1 minus 2 whole square is nothing but what 4 then what answer we are getting square root of 5 centimeters so can we write this one as anything so bc so here bc will be equal to square root of 5 centimeter the distance of bc is square root of 5 then what is the final combination so we taken lhs so ac ac distance that is ac is nothing but so here points are x1 y1 and x3 y3 so x1 is nothing but minus 2 minus 1 correct minus 2 minus 1 and 2 comma 3 so for this distance we have to calculate it so let's go into take ac distance is nothing but square root of x3 minus x1 whole square plus y3 minus y1 whole square so here why we are taking x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 in order to avoid confusion that's all not more than that so we can take here x3 minus x1 x3 is nothing but 2 x1 is nothing but minus 2 so minus of minus 2 whole square plus y3 is nothing but 3 so y1 is nothing but minus 1 whole square square root so 2 minus of minus 2 is nothing but 2 plus 2 whole square plus 3 plus 1 whole square then square root so what value we were getting here square 2 plus 2 4 square plus 3 plus 1 4 square so what is the answer we can get here as let's going to take it here square root of 2 4 square can you get it or not 2 4 square yes so here square root of 2 into square root of 4 square 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 root will going to cancel 4 root 2 centimeters so this is nothing but ac so what is lhs so lhs will be equal to what is that ab plus bc so ab is nothing but what 3 root 5 then bc is nothing but what only root 5 then you can take root 5 as common 3 plus 1 then 4 root 5 so what answer we got ab plus bc will be equal to 4 root 5 then what is the rhs then rhs will be equal to 4 root 2 so here ac does not match ab plus bc that means lhs is not equal to rhs that means the given points the given points are not collinear so the our assumption is wrong so our assumption is wrong then not collinear points not collinear points so that is our answer not collinear points thanks for watching if you like the video please give slime likes and please try to share with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe